the thorough analysis of the origin of species, lesson 5, of land and a place are full brothers. Charles Darwin used two terminological wordings, created and separately created, when explaining his theory. Now we have to see through what is the difference between created and separately created. Clarification of the distinction between them is the shortest way to comprehend the origin of species. We can find examples these are used in the two following texts. The first one. Generally, the term species includes the unknown element of a distinct act of creation. Second, until recently, the great majority of naturalists believed that species were immutable productions and had been separately created. Occasionally, independently substituted for separately. The most important thing in his book is that not created separately and not created are diametrically opposite in a rhetorical sense. Therefore, the full understanding of Charles Darwin requires, first of all, to detect the profound difference between not separately created and not created. This is the parting of the way that the evolution and the evolutionism are split as if the evolution is relativism of the creation to put the creation in contact with the evolution was originated from the fundamental failure of the evolutionists that did not differentiate created from separately created and that regarded the two as the same concept. Charles Darwin did not deny the created, but separately created. Here I explain the difference between them in short, and the concrete examples will be shown in the lesson 28 in detail. Anyway, their results were expanded to mislead the general run of people on the evolution. We can see why it is that no line of demarcation can be drawn between species commonly supposed to have been produced by special acts of creation and varieties which are acknowledged to have been produced by secondary laws. Charles Darwin divided the concept of the creation into the first law, the creation, and the second law, variation, and expanded his theory on the basis of the creation. In the above, produced by special acts of creation, designates the true species created originally by God and produced by secondary law is species varied by nature. And no line of demarcation can be drawn between species. Indicates that the degree of modification is so very small that it is very hard to differentiate the change it from the original. The insertion of an adverb separately into sentence makes its implication change in direct opposition. It is the time to analyze the theme of the original species. Species had not been created separately. Here are two sentences. One, students didn't sing a song in the classroom. 
two, students didn't sing a song separately in the classroom. The first one means that students didn't sing a song. This is a negative of transitive verb sing. The second one means that students didn't sing a song independently but sang in chorus. This is a positive of the transitive verb sing. Insertion of separately changes the implication of the sentence into the opposite meaning. To make a long story short, species has not been created is a negative of the creation and the species had not been created separately is a positive of the creation. In similar fashion, if we state this is inexplicable based on the creation, it means a negative of the creation. But if this is inexplicable based on separate creation, this is a positive of the creation. Sentence, a red rose, a yellow rose, a white rose, and a violet rose had not been created, is a negative of the creation. Whereas, a red rose, a yellow rose, a white rose, and a violet rose had not been separately created is a positive of the creation and indicates that the original species created by God changed it to become a red, a yellow, a white, and a violet rose. If you detect the difference between created and separately created, you can understand the origin of a species thoroughly. But Evolutionists who did not make out the difference regarded the two as an identical one and asserted that Charles Darwin denied the creation. This is a splitting point of misleading by evolutionists. A flounder and a place had not been created is a negative of the creation, but a flounder and a place had not been created separately is a positive of the creation. When Charles Darwin arrived at Galapagos Island, there were numerous turtles on the seashore. Observing them in great detail, all the hexagonal patterns on their backs were different little by little. He thought himself, are all turtles having the different hexagonal patterns, different animal or different species? All these turtles had been created separately. He didn't think like that. He confirmed that all turtles had not been created separately. He reasoned their hexagonal patterns varied finely. This was the first departure that Charles Darwin was convinced of the evolution. His evolution theory begins from there and then. But we can find several sentences that separately is omitted once in a while. The reason why separately should be inserted will be explained in the later part, connecting them with the real phenomena. In a strict sense, uh, Charles Darwin had never spoken such a sentence as species had not been created or this is inexplicable on the creation, but his true meaning was species had not been created separately or this is inexplicable on the separate creation. Not understanding such an inner implication, it is a failure to state that 
Charles Darwin denied the creation here. I finished today's. I wish you click subscribe button. Shalom.